Exclusive new reporting this morning about China's airship program. We have never before seen photos obtained by CNN of a Chinese military blimp. It was caught on satellite in a remote desert base in northwestern China. You can see it right there. These pictures are from November 2022, which is three months before a Chinese spy balloon was shot down off the coast of South Carolina. CNN's Alex Marquardt joins us now. Alex, you're part of the reporting team that's broke broke this story about this balloon. What, what are we looking at? Why is this important? Yeah, John, uh, my colleague Paul Murphy and I obtained these images from a satellite imagery company called Black Sky. And what they show uh, is what we believe to be some part of the Chinese military arsenal that has never uh, been seen before. Uh, these images taken at a base in, the, in an area called Korla in northwestern China. It is a remote uh, desert base that is associated uh, with the Chinese military, the PLA. This is an area that has been studied for years. We've seen other satellite imagery uh, of that base. But what we've never seen before is a blimp uh, that is associated with the Chinese military. It is on that long runway that is about 3,300 feet long. The blimp itself is about 100 feet or 30 meters long. It's just outside a, a huge hangar. And what this indicates, John, what experts tell us is an advancement uh, in the Chinese airship military program, that it's getting more sophisticated. Of course, we've known for quite some time that they do have an airship program. Uh, Americans know all too well uh, that they've been using Chinese spy balloons. We saw back in January, February, that spy balloon across the country. But a blimp is a lot more sophisticated. It's more maneuverable. It's more navig navigable. Uh, as one expert, uh, one expert we spoke with likened it to a submarine uh, in the skies, uh, which has its own, we believe, uh, propulsion and, and navigation system. And what this blimp would do is carry out what's called ISR, or intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. So it really does represent, uh, according to a number of experts we spoke with, uh, a r real progress in their airship program, uh, that they are doing a, a lot more uh, to advance it. Now, blimps uh, would be a, a lot more advantageous on a number of levels. They're a lot cheaper than planes and satellites that would carry out ISR. Uh, they can stay in the air a lot longer uh, than planes, of course. And John, what's really interesting is also what's around this blimp. There's that huge hangar, that very long runway, and people we speak to uh, say that that could be an indication that they're actually building a much bigger and more sophisticated airship. There's a lot of construction going on around there, uh, so experts certainly keeping a close eye on this. Uh, I did reach out to the Biden administration, the CIA, uh, declined to comment. The National Security Council did not comment. But I did speak to a senior defense official uh, who said that uh, if it's vi visible from the sky, uh, you can be sure that we're tracking it. John? Yeah, these pictures, very revealing, very interesting. One defense expert I spoke with in the last few weeks basically said the Chinese have found a way to exploit Western defenses with the use of these airships. Alex Marquardt, terrific reporting. Thank you.